big part of that. Here we go. And we are underway. And the first hit is in. Carson Williams, mm, they called out. I think they called net, Chuck. I think, okay. uh, I think they had a setter, 37. Uh, uh, it was uh, Jordan in the net there. But, uh, you know, they're trying to run a pretty quick play right out of the gate. All right, so. Nice serve here by uh, St. Uh, St. Stephen. So, again, this is, uh, as Coach called it, this is our varsity two team. So, we are tied at one here in set number two, and that's going to be an ace. Off the hands of the back row player. That is Carson Williams with the ace. So is this underclassmen? Do we know that we, we know this is a JV type team? Or? I was lucky to get names. All and right. I only got first names. So as soon as you know, you can tell me. How's that? Perfect. <laughs> Two to one. Score attack right side by Nick. Back row return goes out. Going to tie it up at two apiece. So Nick is number two. Wyatt is number four. Michael is 12. And that was McHenry with a with a, probably a rare miss, I think, we're going to see here. That's the, the kid that's going to UCLA. As a ah, okay. hitter for AJV. He had a, you know, hit that a little long. Meantime, attack left side. And net violation called on... St. Stevens, that's going to be 3-2 Austin Juniors. Austin Juniors with Nathan Meckler, number 31, the libero. Guillermo Jordan, number 37. Lane Martin, number 40. Carter Swires, number 49. Justin Selva, 59. Carson Williams, 84. And Merrick McHenry headed to UCLA is 86. As another ace makes it a 4-2 lead now. Yeah, and Austin Juniors uh, coming out pretty quick here, as you would expect. Serving very aggressive. The makeshift St. Stephen's teams gets a swing from the right side. And that is a kill for David. And again, our apologies. We scrambled to get a roster and we got first name. So Yeah, nice, nice swing by 23 there. You know, tooled the block. Uh, you know, our offside, offside defense wasn't ready for it on the AJV side. So it's a four to three. Juniors as they get the serve receive. Left side swing and torching the tile. Wow, well, Merrick sorry, I, think, I, think we, I think we just just uh, figured out why he's going to UCLA. Yeah. As an outside hitter, I was told earlier he touches 11-11, Chuck. Wow. So almost 12 feet. Um, that, uh, that's a high, high reach he has there. That's a monster. Yeah. Meantime, Lane Martin with the serve. Free ball sent over to the juniors. That's never a good thing. Quick set in the middle. That one hammered in the middle by Carter Swire. Is it Swires? Oh, I was going to ask you that. S W Y E R S. Yep. So this AJV team, you know, is a, is a combination of kids from from around the state. Free ball sent over again. Pass up front by the bit libero ne Meckler, and that's going to be a net. Oh. They called that violation on St. Stevens. They did. Wow. Yeah, okay. a little, little, little tight pass there by uh, by the libero for AJV. Um, Setter made a nice play on that ball, but uh, St. Stevens in the net. Service over by Lane Martin, and that falls in for an ace. Third ace for the juniors. Eight to three to score. We played a twenty-five best two of three. After this match, we'll have another match for you. Football. Yeah, I thought he was sneaking up on the line there. So, uh, you know, number number 40, Martin there, is playing a little tight to the line. Uh, you know, um, probably not paying as much attention as they do in some of their more competitive matches. But, um, you know, see if St. Stephen's uh, younger team here can, uh, can make a run. Well, you hate to see that, Chuck, because if you're the coach, you, yeah. know, you get a break, you get a foot fault against a, you know, very, very good AJV team, and you give it right back, and uh, that's a killer. That's a killer. Yeah, rally killer are those ser uh, service errors. And that's going to be an ace for the libero, Nathan Meckler. Fourth ace overall for the juniors. As I understand it, uh, Cassidy called last night and said they weren't going to be able to make it. So okay. this uh, St. Stephen's team literally thrown together today as the swing from the left side, handled in the back row. 
And that roll shot's going to go way long. Going to be off the green monster and out of the park for a home run. And it's now 11-4 juniors. we got more action coming tomorrow, more play-by-play. -play. In fact, the juniors' 9 o'clock match will be play-by-play -play tomorrow. We'll have three live stream, which means no broadcasting, and then three play-by-play, -play, the 9 a.m. and then the uh, two championship matches. As good rally here by both teams. Left side swing, and that will fall in for Justin Selva, his first kill. Yeah, that was the best rally of the night right there. I mean, it was nice to see St. Stephen's, you know, got, got their hand on a block tip, slowed the ball down. Uh, we're able to keep that ball in play, but AJV just had too much, too much to handle on the offense side. Service over by Meckler. Swing left side blocked in front, the 84-86 combo. Oh, my goodness. That would be Williams and McHenry on the block assist. Yeah, nice, nice block there. You know, they you know, really pressed well on that block. Has a big wall up against, uh, you know, the St. Stephen's team. And this, this AJV team, you know, they have four, four kids from, from Dallas, four from San Antonio, one from Houston, and one from Austin. So they're, you know, they're more of an all-star time of, time of you know, team or a club, really, in this uh, high school tournament. So you know, they'll be tough to handle, but, but good competition. It's good for these, these high school kids to, you know, to play against those, those top players. Get out of my head, man. I was just about to ask you to describe the team. So <laughs> it's always nice to have a broadcast partner that says stuff that you don't yeah, even have to ask about. Our first time out, so we're right we're we're, we're in sync right away. Just well, like of course you uh, you work with the uh, Lake Travis broadcast, Mike I do. Youngblood and Mike Youngblood the folks over there. Yep, that's a lot of fun. I've I've enjoyed it. Meantime, out of the timeout, Meckler with the serve and another free ball headed to the back rail. Meckler with the dig set. Swing left side. Oh, and through the libero's hands for a kill. Yep, nice nice play by AJV. They're, they're in system right now. Um, you know, unfortunately for the St. Stephen's team, they're, they're providing a lot of free balls. Uh, yeah, which you is, can't do that with this team. No, nah, allows them to run their offense. And, you know, I, I like the setter they have here. Oh, and that one almost out. I think I think the setter that they normally have for this team is Nathan Liskey, who just committed this yes, week. Yes, congratulations to, to Nathan. Stanford. Very exciting. Um, Stanford, right? So Stanford. He's yeah. a cardinal. Yeah, it's and that's not a bird, by the way. Yeah, good volleyball school. Joust up front, and ball ends up on the side of the juniors. Carson Williams, another kill. So he's playing for you know. So, so Nathan's playing for his high school during this tournament. So um, you know, we have some other setters in here. They look look strong. Look, you know. Meckler, nice a little English as he throws the ball up on the serve. Picks up his second ace. Yeah, I haven't seen that. He, he I spins the ball on that. the way up. Uh, I'd like to That's learn impressive. a little more about that. Yeah, I like it. Doesn't do it all the time either. No. Oh, now he huh. does. As Just as we say that. Nice dig in the back row there by Nick. Tip shot. Dug out by McHenry. McHenry with the swing from the right side and the kill. Yeah, yep. I think McHenry's taking a little off the ball, which is probably a, yeah. a nice thing to do. Right yeah, now. it is. Uh, he is long, boy. Yeah, I think he's six foot four. I heard um, really long arms. Good looking player. Off the serve, right side roll shot there that falls go. in. Seems like at a number that is Will with the kill. Will with the kill. All right. He would he would work out with one of Mike's uh, nicknames. You know, Mike Youngblood uh, likes to throw the nicknames out there. This see is if uh, David Stevens back to can serve. get a little pressure on him here. Yep. Let's see. Yeah, get a couple points in a row. Be good. Pass up front. Quick set. Oh, and that poked off the side. So a hitting error. <laughs> Makes it a two-point run. Yeah, you don't see that probably too often from no. that kid. No, no. Even if he took something off of it, <laughs> you just don't see that very often, I would imagine. Meantime, service into the net. Third service error for St. Stephen's. By the way, tomorrow the table's going to be over there, so we don't have people walk in front of us. Oh, okay. Nice. I totally forgot. I was like, I want to get out of the way of the folks over there. Now I'm like, okay, tomorrow we're over there. Yeah, I'd like to try to make it for the championship. We'll see if I That'd can be cool if you would. myself away. We'll, we'll see. And rotation error called on St. Stephen's. I think AJV is coached by probably Ted Owen. Is Ted right Owen, here. Uh, right there. Yeah. Oh, John. Okay, Ted's over there helping. I know Ted a little bit from uh, AJV. Joust up front and net, net violation. 
on St. Stephen's. So John Corbelli and Chase McKenzie are the names I was given. Who's yep. Ted? Yep, Ted's over there. Uh, What's cross. his name? What's Ted his last name? name? Ted Owen. Okay. I have that correctly. Pass up front off the serve. Helping out. Swing left side blocked in front. That was a solo for Carson Williams. Williams is a good looking player too. I mean, he's long. Um, you know, this is a very talented team over here on this side of the, the, the court for AJV. And this isn't St. Stephen's, you know, top team, so they're, you know, they're they're struggling a little bit right now. Yeah. Their coaches. Well, literally <laughs> thrown together yeah. today. So. Yeah, yeah. That happens, you know, in boys volleyball. I mean, it's still a growing sport here in Texas, you know, and I'm excited that KMAC, you guys are involved because, um, you know, for the growth of the men's side, the boys' side, I think in Texas in particular, you know, it's all about exposure. You yeah, know, exactly. I, I, you and I were talking earlier, you know, the guys that I have, you know, parents that I run into through through club and my daughter's playing, once the, you know, once the guys get involved and they see the game and they get exposed to it, they really fall in love with it. So mm -hmm. it's just about exposure, so. Thanks yeah, exciting. thanks to you and thanks to Glenn Litsky and everybody at Austin Juniors as well for providing these broadcasts this weekend. Is that one mishandled in the back row? Free ball to be sent over, and it goes over. Joust up front ends up on the St. Stephen's side of the net. Now the Juniors will swing from the left side. Nice dig there, and that ball returns hey. out. All right. Nice play, nice play by St. Stevens. Great, great, great dig by the libero. Yeah, um, you know he had a nice up, and then they, you know, in transition. Yeah, in transition, you know they got a nice, nice set. Um, good swing. You know, I like to see that. This is Michael, number twelve, the libero, and a fourth service error. And two points away from winning this first set is Austin Juniors. Again, they play best two out of three to twenty-five. If there's a third game. They played at 15, and they switched sides halfway through. Okay. And rotation error on the juniors. Ooh. Got, got caught not napping, as, yeah, a, as yeah. they say. Yeah, just a little, you know, they're they're kind of going through the motions, it looks like, a little bit here. But, no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I like the setter. And that one goes oh, Another long. uncharacteristic swing. Yep. Well, i tell you, the setter here, 37, Jordan, um, I really like the way he, he positions the ball, and uh, you know he's got a nice, uh, nice jump set that he uses. Puts a nice flat ball out there. Twenty-three to nine. Player. There's the quick set. Ooh. Oh my! Leaving nothing to chance. Carson Williams. Yeah, I think hammers home his third kill, and it is now set point. I think I think after that last ball he hit out, yeah. he's like, I'm gonna put a hole in the floor. That was a, that was a great look of Just play. Just about did too. Yeah, real really beautiful set and, and great kill. I call that Williams. torching the tile. Yeah. Service over by Mr. Williams. And saved by Michael. Sent over. And the return Outside. was out of bounds. Yep, outside the antenna. So that will be 25-9 first set win for Austin Juniors. We'll go ahead and uh, keep it here. Chuck Licata along with Michael B. Secker and Well that was quick. Mr. Yeah. That was a quick one. Mr. Andrew Williamson, our producer, and Mitchell Padgett back there at the KMAX Studios. He's been QAing the live streams that we've done. Uh, a couple of folks asking about where it can be found. Of course, KMAXSports.com. And yes, every match that we live stream and or broadcast will be available for replay probably a couple hours after uh, the match is over because it takes time for the video reset so well I, I think Chuck the, the good the good news is you know we're going to be ahead of schedule probably after this uh, yeah match. right um, but I think we're in for a good match this next match um, uh, it's uh, St. Stephen's versus uh, refresh my memory on who they're playing um, oh Trinity Trinity so yep. apparently they're a little bit of rivals the best from the north the best from the south um, I understand that should be a, a very competitive match so uh We'll get we'll get a good one here the the, the next match for sure. And yeah. you got to give these St. Stephen's kids credit. You know they're coming out here. Oh you yeah. Know, probably not expecting to play. No. And, you know they, they get thrown on the court. They barely had any warm up. And uh, next thing you know they're playing. Uh, you know an all star team from the state of Texas. So. So where were the kids from again on the uh, Austin Junior side? You uh, said four from Dallas. Is that right? Four from Dallas. Four from San Antonio. One from wow. Houston and one from Austin. You know and that's. You know. Uh, 
I, I, like I said, I think it's just about getting exposure here in Texas. People with parents getting exposed to the game. Um, mm-hmm. You know, I saw Mike Rosenthal. I don't know if you know Mike Rosenthal. Of course, also. Rosie. I could, yeah, I saw Rosie last night at the middle school game. Oh, did you? And his son's playing uh, oh, volleyball. Oh, no yeah, Wow. Fred, and, uh, cool. He's 11, and he's playing. And, uh, you know, he got exposed through his daughter. His wife played in Notre Dame. But um, he loves it. You know, and he said the biggest challenge they have here in Texas is we have to do a lot of travel to, to go and play competitive teams. And so he's not right. quite – not sure if he's ready for that for his, you know, I think fifth grader, but um, ah, okay, but uh, but it, it, you know, that is part of the challenge here. They have to travel to get to get competition, travel to play. Um, you know, so you got to give credit to these kids that are, you know, like Nathan is going to Stanford and mm-hmm. McHenry, and um, I think there's another, um, you know, one of the boys here is going to Lewis. I don't think he's here tonight uh, to play. Another one's going to Charleston. Jared Phelan. Yeah, I think so. Okay. And, uh, Jared uh, not here tonight. Uh, John telling us that. He'll be here tomorrow. So I think Jared's actually looking to somewhere in the east, I think I heard. But, um, you know, th- th- these kids have to go out of their way to try to, you know, drive to practice and, you know, find players to play with and find good coaching like they have at Austin Juniors. And, mm-hmm. you know, Glenn was telling me uh, they're up to four boys teams now. So, nice. you know, he's definitely doing his part to grow the game. And uh, I'm excited. I think, you know, St. Andrew's first year, I believe, in their high school program, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Yep, they're Saints in their first year. Having it for a while. So yep. it, it'll come gradually, but I think, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's about exposure and getting people to see these boys play. It's a, it's a fast, exciting game for uh, on the men's side. Well, I'm one of the many who thinks that Texas volleyball is the best in the nation anyway. But now you've got, you've got two factors that are going to make it grow, beach volleyball yep. and boys volleyball. That's a, that's that, it's going to explode load as if it hasn't already yeah i know and uh on, you know we, we continue after the play but uh meantime a roll shot sent over by wyatt swing left side that's out yeah it's a little, little mental focus right now for ajv kids you know you're seeing yeah. some american characters plays but but i agree the beach is just exploding on the girls side and and i also agree with you on the indoor side both club and high school ball um, we're right there with California, in my opinion. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, if, if not, the Dallas metro area might even be the number one region in the country, in my opinion. I don't know what you think yeah. about that. Yeah, well, it's unfortunate, but it is, <laughs> as Lane Martin gets a kill. Yeah, I mean, we're talking about the girl. You and I were talking about the girls' uh, volleyball playoffs upcoming. And truly, especially in 5A and 6A, state title, state championship goes through the Dallas area. Yeah. And the club side. I mean, you've got so many really good teams that have to beat up on each other in the Dallas area. Yeah. You know, and that's that's probably one of the challenges for these boys teams, right? You got to find competition. AJV's out here playing a high school tournament, you know, to, to get reps, um, you know, and you need that competition. Um, you know, we talk a little bit about Lake Travis and, you know, that, that's one of the challenges I think um, Lake Travis and Westlake have a little bit and and Hayes in their district now is getting enough competition during that district play to compete at oh, the yeah. state tournament, both in football and, and volleyball and other sports sometimes. And serve receive will go long. This is now 3-1, to one, little 3 nothing run for AJV. And I, what I like about the, the, the boys game is all, all these guys are jump, top spin serving. Um, you have to serve aggressive uh, mm-hmm. at high level boys volleyball, men's volleyball. And that one uh, will go out. Little touch, I think. Oh little yes, little he did tip it. Okay. That's almost as bad as a um, service error. Yeah. Ball headed out, and somebody says in a little indecision. It's like, uh, darn it, shouldn't have touched it. Yeah, Williams got a nice serve. That will go out. Uh, yeah, First service error for AJV in this match tonight. As they lead it one set to none. The one, the first one, twenty-five nine. This will be Nick. Number two back to serve. Nice little cross-court line drive shot. Nice set and down the line. Nice line shot there. Uh, yeah, Martin, he's a nice, look, good-looking player yes, as he well. Is. He, I, I saw him make some plays in the, the last match, some great defensive plays. He's got a really nice line shot on both sides of the pin. Um, plays well above his height, it looks like to me. Meets on the service by the... Setter Jordan, back row return by Michael. Quick set, left hand shot, dumped over. 
Yeah, a little, little, little miss, little, you know, out of sync a little bit on the on the middle uh, middle play there, and uh, you know, forty nine uh, just made a nice little little play on the ball. Yep, Carter Swires. Swires, yep. Roll shot sent over, dug out. Right side there you swing, go. nice block. Yep. Well, free ball to St. Stephens. They try the dump shot now. Oh. What was going to be a joust turns into a hitting air. Poor nice Saint little Stevens. rally there. A yeah. couple, couple plays. Nice block yeah, by nice uh, block. number four. Who, you know, uh, that is uh, Wyatt. Wyatt. Nice block yep. by Wyatt. Nice block. Good job. Service over by Guillermo Jordan. Opening up an 8-2 lead now is AJV. Okay, we'll see them tomorrow. Yeah, what's the first one you're doing tomorrow morning? Is 9 a.m. at St. Andrews and uh, I, think, I think that's St. Andrews and someone. You're going to make me look it Hit, up, aren't you? That's all right. Hitting I, air over here by St. Stephen. I just, got, I just got home from Houston at 11 o'clock this morning. <laughs> so I was just glad to kind of get my bearings about me just to get out here. What time did you guys start today? Uh, 4 o'clock. I was here at okay. 2.30. Okay. okay, we got the schedule. Meantime, net violations all over the place. Yeah, why why try to take that over on uh, on two? Not not a bad idea. Execution was a little off. Yep. Um, you know the serves right now. That's just hard for for, for the St. Stephen's team to handle the serves right now. That's that's what we're seeing. You know they probably haven't seen serves like this in uh, in a little while or maybe ever. Another timeout by by St. Stephen's. Um, so Austin Juniors, uh, yeah, so he's four teams. I, I, I need to ask him, you know, what the ages are. I believe this is their 18s. I know they have a 16s team. Um, I'm, I'm sure they have a younger team that they're working on as well. Um, you know, and uh, I, I'm excited to see that. I, I remember when they kind of started with their first team. And uh, same with the beach program at Austin Juniors. You know, that started probably – five years ago. Oh, did it? Wow. Um, I vaguely remember some of the first ones my daughter was involved with, with, you know, 14, 15 kids. You know, I, I think they're probably up over 150 to 200 kids in that program now on the beach wow. side. Yeah. Jeez. Ashley Ivy is, runs that program, and, you know, it's a great, great program they have there for the beach as well, both girls and boys. Well, and on the girls' side, what we're seeing is the girls that are um, playing beach are at – they actually, uh, and I've talked to a couple of them, and I've talked to their coaches as well, and I'm sure you have too, but they're saying they, they're better all around on the court when they play beach. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. And, uh, you know, uh, we're going to see Callahan Hefner um, later today, and he is a uh, both a high-level beach and indoor player. He's on the in the high-performance program for USA Volleyball. Um, and uh, we see a lot on the girls' side that their, their games significantly improve all around when they're playing, playing beach. Meantime, tip shot left side, dug out. Jordan sets it on the slide, and the swing goes out. Yeah, a little Mc miss hit there by Mr. McHenry. Yeah, McHenry up, uh, you know, man, he elevates. It's fun to watch him uh, go attack the ball. Um, I think there he went up. He had a wide open net. Uh, he could have put that down on the ten foot line. Uh, he tried a little, little, little fun cut shot there for for fun. It looked like to me. But uh, by the way, tomorrow morning's first game is St. Stephen's against the three A team. Oh, okay, okay. Set on the slide, and that one goes out as well. Trying to go cross court was Martin. Sends it wide. A couple unforced errors here by Austin yep. Juniors. Yep. See if St. St. Stevens can take advantage. Creep back in this a little bit. Just get a little momentum. See the scoreboard on your screen. 13 to 4. You see the Austin Juniors logo on the right. The KMAC logo on the top right. Oh, that's going to be a double. Oh, nice dig by Connor there for St. Stevens. You know, he put a nice play on the ball. And, you know, unfortunately, uh, you know, Ball handling error, setting error there for uh, for St. Stephen's. Yep, St. Stephen's and Trinity Valley play next. We'll have the play-by-play uh, -play for that one. Now a 10-point lead for Austin Juniors. Mm. They needed that. Yeah, that's good. 
they need a kind you know, of a lot of a lot of matches are going around. So you have uh, play-in matches tonight, probably right. right? Some seeding some matches, seeding matches. Mm -hmm. and then um, a lot of teams are also in, in the, on the girls' side getting uh, some warm-up uh, yeah, scrimmages in and matches. Yep, in as well um, around the state. So a lot of volleyball, and then obviously on the boys' side, uh, you know, in their state tournament, I believe is coming up soon um, as well. I think that might finish in Dallas area. I have oh, to, okay. I have to look. Yeah, I think the first state tournament was two years ago for the boys, if okay. I remember correctly. Yep. Yeah, in fact, I did a story on it uh, for Lone Star Volleyball when I was associated with them. Meantime, back row return. Dug out nicely by Meckler. A little free ball lofted over. Left side uh, swing that, and that net AJV. violation. Yeah. Uncharacteristic error by AJV. Yeah, it's just it's just going to take some time. Uh, you know, I I will tell my story later. I grew up in Pennsylvania, where ball, you know, boys and men's volleyball has been popular for a long time. Free ball sent over by Mar uh, Jordan. Overpass dug out. Oh yep, yep. Error by Lovero there. Yep. A little sloppy ball here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is in, this is a little bit on the ugly side. It's hard. I think it's hard to, to keep focus, you know, when you're in one of these types of matches. You got to give these kids credit for coming out and uh, at least at least giving their, you know, giving it their all on the stage. Good try by stuff. Wyatt. So he tried to send a barn burner over, but it went just a little bit too far. Now Meckler with the serve. Swing left side, popped over the net. Meckler on the dig. Quick set in the middle, hammered oh, cool. by nice Carson play. Williams. Nice yep. and system play right there. Yeah, Meckler did, didn't do his spin. Uh, <laughs> you know, he's got that spin. I'm, I'm definitely going to ask one of their coaches about that. The first time all my years of seeing that. And there he, now he did a backspin toss. Back row return coming. They got by Meckler. Swing from the left side through the block for nice. Justin Selva. Nice swing by Selva. Uh, Got some elevation there. Went right through the block. Uh, you know, St. Stephen's had a nice little, little uh, tandem block going there for them, and just just a better swing. Yeah, the other matches we're doing are but one o'clock and two o'clock, play by play. After we live stream the 10, 11, and noon broadcasts. Nice dig in the back row there by Swires. A little joust. Oh, oh but net violation. Good swing, but Connor gets into the net. Yeah, Connor wanted that one. There. Yep. He, he, he saw that, that big ball sitting up he there. Was and he was salivating. He, yeah. yeah, he was salivating a little bit. A little too aggressive, but. Now a service error. Yep. By Meckler. Yeah, we're obviously serving out of system as well. 18 to 6 to score. As this is David. Jump serve coming for David. Dug out, set on the left side, and the kill. Really nice set there for Justin Selva. Jordan, Jordan, uh, yeah, he really sucked that middle blocker in for St. Stevens. He, he looked like he was going to go middle, and shot that out on a nice, almost like a shoot set on the outside. That one off the tape, as if they needed anything, any more luck. <laughs> Using the equipment, Chuck. That's right. Got to use everything you have. By the way, the wireless microphone right on the left side pole. That's why when it oh, I heard that, hits yeah. the tape, nice. that's why you hear that little clink. We call that 3D audio. And there's another example is that one hit into the net. I like it. I like it. Uh, Williams unforced air there. High-level production here. Of course, uh, baby. Only the best. 20 to 7. Well, you were coming, so, you know, we had, <laughs> to, we had to set things up a little bit. Service over. And through the front line, the kill for Justin Selva. Yeah, Selva, nice, another nice swing off the block. St. Stevens is at least getting, you know, they're getting their hands on the ball, which is mm -hmm. nice to see. But, you know, he cut that hard right and, uh, and used the block well. Yeah, just a little bit too, too powerful. Selva back to serve. And that will be an ace. Yeah, I'll have to slip uh, Coach Taylor $5 after the match for, for, for her implying I was coming to take over for your, <laughs> your, your, your broadcasting yeah. position. You can do play-by-play play if you want. Oh, no. I, I, you guys, I don't know how you guys do that. 
Yep, and that's going to be an ace. That's a skill. You guys. A uh, little frustration there. I, I like the way, I, you know, I got to tell you, I, I like the way K-Mac calls play-by-play -play for volleyball. I listen uh, to, to, you know, the you know the different networks, SEC and mm -hmm. Longhorn Network, and I like the I like the more play-by-play -play action that you guys do. Ooh, Ooh that one off headshot. the head. Yeah, headshot. Yeah, baby, a little soccer act going on. Attack left Look side. Out. Oh, my. Torching the tiles, Lane Martin. Yeah, Martin oh. put that down with authority. He's got some power behind his swing. and Wide open net. Um, you just can't let AJV have a wide open net. And, and here's match point, 24-7. Nice Justin Selva to serve. Back row return coming from Michael. Sends it to the back row. Selva with the dig. And oh, oh my. Carson Williams end it with a face shot. Yeah, that, yeah, a little almost almost a six pack. Might have caught his chin there. Ouch. Um, but he's laughing. He's having a good time with it. And, uh, well, and kudos to St. Michael's too for coming up. Thanks, uh, yeah, Or yeah. St. Stevens, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. St. Stevens with uh, coming up with the uh, varsity two team. The, uh, you know, fill in for Cassidy, who was supposed to be here, but called last night and said that they couldn't make it. Yeah, and that's uh, you know this is uh, like I said, I, you know my 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 history with volleyball started in uh, uh, in York, Pennsylvania. In '82, they started a team at our high school. Um, my dad was the high school basketball and baseball coach, so he wasn't extremely happy when I told him I wasn't going to play baseball. I was going to try this volleyball thing. <laughs> but uh, you know, I got into it because um, I wanted to improve my vertical and. You know what, like everybody else that plays the game, I got hooked and, and uh, really, you know, really enjoyed it. But just to give you how far along they are up in Pennsylvania, as an example, they've had, you know, very competitive high school teams since the 70s. Oh, yeah. Um, and, you know, Penn State drove that a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, they were the first school to win, uh, you know, a men's national championship in, uh, in volleyball outside of California. Right. And, um, you know, Glenn and Austin Juniors, um, I mean, they are the driver behind – um, not just volleyball here in Austin, as you know, but uh, Glenn is heavily involved in, in the state volleyball scene as well um, through his big tournaments that he does. You know, the Lone Star Classic is Huge. the largest national yes. qualifier in the country, I believe. Yep. Um, and now with, you know, Beach and then with boys. And, I, and I'm, I'm just really excited to see more and more athletes uh, trying men's volleyball, boys' volleyball. It's great to see some of these kids going to play high-level volleyball like Nathan Litsky. Um, mm -hmm. You know, and uh, Merrick McHenry going to play in the Pac-12. I mean, that's big-time volleyball. So, kudos to Glenn and, and Austin Juniors and, and these boys are out here, you know, making it happen. And, and, you know, this is what happens a little bit, right? As you're trying to grow the sport, you know, you're going to have a team that can't make it and you have to right. throw in another team, and that's part of the growth. Call the, the evolution. Yeah, yep. yeah, that's part of the evolution of the sport for these guys. Absolutely. So, Austin Jr. wins it in two, 25-9, 25-7. We're going to sign off when we come back in about, oh, 20 minutes or so. We'll have St. Stephen's and Trinity Valley. As Michael said, we'll expect a little bit more competition in that one. Uh, but for now, I am Chuck Licata along with Mr. Andrew Williamson and Mr. Michael B. Secker. Uh, Mitchell Padgett, our QA. Thank you, Mitchell. One more to go, bud. And we will sign off and be back in about 20 minutes or so. Check the link for the next match, and we'll do live play-by-play -play for that one.